Thursday was the first day of registration for the coming school year at Conway High School. As it prepares for the new year, the school is faced with a big drop in the letter grade it received to comply with federal law, from a B last year to an F. The school's principal says a big part of that has to do with the graduation rate. He says many kids who leave the school transfer to other schools or even out of the country, but they still count against Conway's graduation rate. So we have far more kids uh, coming and going uh, these days than we used to. So we, we might have a graduating class of 300 and we've had 500 kids that have been through the building in the course of that four years. We have to, we have to keep up with the other 200. Overall, the Horry County School District dropped to a B grade from an A the previous year, but school officials say a higher percentage of the district's individual schools got A's and B's this year. Also, Horry County moved up to be the 12th highest ranking district in the state, and all the districts ahead of it are smaller. Horry County Schools was the highest ranked countywide school system in the state of South Carolina. Now, the grades released Thursday comply with a federal No Child Left Behind Act. The state report card comes out in November. Britain says it's easy for parents to be confused by all this, but they should take a broader look and ask, how is my child doing? You know, are you satisfied with, with the kinds of growth and the kinds of opportunities and the kinds of challenges that your individual student is receiving?